A patient today asked about serotonin syndrome, a very serious and potentially fatal um, condition um, that is the result of serotonin toxicity. Um, and that usually is caused when an individual is on several different serotonergic agents, uh, and that may be medications, supplements, or illicit substances or drugs. Patients are often concerned about developing serotonin syndrome if they're on higher end doses of SSRIs or SNRIs um, when they come into our office. And I have to uh, reassure these individuals that it would be very rare, it's not impossible, but it would be extremely rare that someone would have serotonin syndrome from taking even higher end or slightly higher than FDA approved doses of your SSRIs or your SNRIs or even your tricyclic antidepressants if they're not taking additional supplements, additional medications, or using recreational drugs, that may also increase serotonin levels. So if someone is coming in, they're being treated with one medication, and they're not taking other um, supplements or vitamins, and not using illicit drugs, it would be very rare to see serotonin syndrome. Um, with that being said, a lot of different medications can increase the availability, uh, the availability or increase serotonin levels in the central nervous system, and often patients um, don't realize that. Um, and so it's not just your SSRIs and your SNRIs and your tricyclic antidepressants and your MAOIs, it's not just your psychiatric medications, but also certain antibiotics uh, like ciprofloxacin or isoniazid um, uh, or linezolid um, can increase serotonin levels. Um, certain antifungals uh, like fluconazole can increase serotonin levels. Certain headache medications like your uh, sumatriptans, your triptans, um, can increase serotonin levels. Pain medications like meperidine and opiates can increase serotonin levels. Even um, antivirals like uh, ritonavir that's used in HIV and other conditions um, can increase serotonin levels. Um, then some supplements like St. John's wort can increase serotonin levels. And I always tell patients it's never safe to take St. John's wort if you're taking um, antidepressants or other psychiatric medications, and often they don't realize that. And then um, illicit substances, and so um, cocaine, amphetamine, ecstasy. Um, if you are taking psychiatric medications, and frankly, I do not think that anybody should be using cocaine or amphetamines um, uh, off the street or um, ecstasy, um, but if you are um, taking psychiatric medications and you use those substances, it could put you into serotonin syndrome, which is potentially fatal. And it's important for people out there to know that. Um, so classically, when a provider is evaluating a patient and they're concerned that they may have serotonin syndrome, um, they're typically gonna see, or at least a triad uh, that you would see um, for your, your uh, board tests and things like that would be a mental status changes, so changes in a patient's cognition, autonomic instability, and so you may see tachycardia, dilated pupils, increased bowel sounds, sweating, um, and then also um, you may see neuromuscular abnormalities. So um, clonus, when you um, dorsiflex a patient's foot, you may see some uncontrollable plantar flexion. Um, you may see hyperreflexia. You might see increased rigidity um, of the patient's uh, muscular tone. But the truth is there's a pretty wide range of symptoms that an individual may have if they are having ser they're in serotonin syndrome. And um, there's a pretty wide range in severity of those symptoms. So if a patient is concerned that they may be um, uh, experiencing this condition, if individuals notice that a patient is having altered mass, uh, mental status changes, changes in cognition, um, and they're on psychiatric medications or taking illicit substances, you need to get immediate medical attention and providers need to be aware that this may be happening. And the first thing they always want to do is to stop all potentially, um, uh, stop all agents that may be potentially causing this to happen. So stop all serotonergic medications, supplements, um, and drugs immediately and give supportive care and monitor very closely. Again, serotonin syndrome is a very serious condition. It's something that patients need to know about. In general, it would be very rare for it to, to occur for a patient um, who is on uh, one or even a couple of psychiatric medications under the direct supervision of a provider who's not abusing cocaine, uh, drugs off the street, uh, the street um, ecstasy, or taking um, supplements um, and not discussing it directly with their provider. 
Um, if you believe this video pertains to you in any way, please be sure to speak with a mental health or medical provider directly. These videos are meant to be informative only and definitely not meant to be medical advice for anyone out there.